What's going on guys, Kyger here. Today we're going to talk about the 1.34 patch notes. Now, the one for global kind of just dropped on us just a couple days ago. But, if we take a look right here, the Southeast Asian one, which has a lot of the same things, has been up for about a week now. So, I was waiting to see the global ones and we're going to go over both of them just to see what's going on between them. So starting with global, uh, so first we're gonna talk about the changes that have been added, then the optimizations. First is added a function to allocate available skill points with one tap, uh, and if that's not available, then you'll get them all one equipped. That is to stop this video right here from happening once you get past level 200, you get these little uh, stats down here that you can upgrade and you use uh, experience up here to increase them. And as you see during this, uh, it takes a long, long time to upgrade them. So that's trying to stop that from happening. Ride together couple mount, you can instead of uh, your couple having to come to your mount and click ride, you can say, hey, ride my mount with me, and they can just jump on when they accept. Uh, sharing feature from bag uh, from all the channels, so that uh, makes it easier to show things. Uh, you know, say, hey, this is the cool sword I got, things like that. Improved cross-server grouping criteria for top league. That doesn't say what it is. I'm hoping uh, that it, it lowered the level groupings. But maybe a lot of people have been asking for a CP range top league. So, I mean, that could be it. I don't believe so, but it's up in the air. Optimized the zone rule for Elemental Realm and Path of Fire Sword. Now, zone rule uh, is kind of up in the air of what it is, but what I, believe, what I believe it is, is right now, if your server has enough people, it's based on who logs in first during the day. So it resets at 5 a.m. server time for your Elemental Realm and Path of Fire Sword groupings if it's a reset day for Path of Fire Sword. And once it gets enough people, then it opens up another grouping of people. Uh, a lot of the older servers won't see that because there's generally not that many players on the older servers. Now, what I'm hoping is they make the groupings smaller, which just makes more people getting rewards, which uh, just helps everyone out. That would be nice if that does it. Optimized opening treasure chests in bulk. Uh, right now... Treasure, ch uh, so right now, uh, depending on what you're doing, you can only open 20 at a time. I'm hoping this makes it 100 at a time. It makes it so much faster. Uh, text description for Crystal Battlefield Uncharted. Don't know what that means. Maybe they're just going to explain the point system and stuff better. Optimize the purchase of balloon coins and mirror balloon house event. Uh, right now you have to like go up and then buy it from the thing and then uh, click use. They're probably just going to make it one click. So like if you don't have enough coins, you can just click uh, purchase and then it'll just deduct the Kabbalah crystals so that you can do the roll. Simplify the process of players to join adventure groups directly without requiring approval when invited by the team leader. Yeah, right now if I invite you... Uh, it, you say yes, and then I say yes. They're just making, uh, getting rid of that last part. Attribute overview function of inscription order bag. Uh, new inscription order tags, and added a filter. That is so good. Uh, easier to look at our IOs. Uh, hide flower fairies when taking photos. This has been asked since the game launched. Nice to have that actually happen. Uh, while soloing a dungeon, damage statistics are now displayed for all four flower fairies in the lineup. 
Uh, so it would show your two fairies and then when you swap weapons, they would go away and the other two would come up. So now you can actually get a better idea of what they're contributing to the combat. Tooltip for glyph cultivation, uh, preserve 100%. So if you uh, upgrade one glyph, well in this case that would be the totems. Uh, if you're upgrading the totems and you decide to do a new one, you can swap them. And when you use the old one to upgrade the new one, you will get 100% of that experience, which is a lot. Entering Guild War as a team, automatically follow for teammates is now disabled. Oof. So you can't just uh, AFK follow your uh, buddy. That's a, that's a little upsetting. <laughs> Optimized hair color. Uh, a couple, like three patches ago, they made it so that uh, there's like shading for the hair. Now it's kind of, right now it's kind of darker. Uh, hopefully they just made it uh, back to what it was before. Added more floors to Path of Fire. I think right now it's 900, right? Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe it's 900 and they probably pushed it up to 1,000. Uh, I will find that out and let you guys know. Uh, and this one is a very interesting one. They've changed the uh, the one dollar offer when you start on a server. Uh, it would be day one you get Candoc, day two you get the mount that lets you fish, uh, auto fish, and day three you just get some more resources. They changed it to Viola instead of Candoc. Very very interesting. Now let's jump over to Southeast Asia and see what the differences are. So right here, class points is the same, inviting is the same, backpack same, and then there was only 14 over there. We have more over here. Uh, they call it Peak League. Uh, attributes. Oh, they're doing an update on the events that we have once in a while, the uh, Flower Fairy Festival and Elemental Illusions. Those are when we uh, fight those fairies. So we have one coming up, the Balloon Flower one for Global. Uh, it'd be nice if we had an um, optimization for that to make it better. Uh, optimize the logic for Lucky Dice. It really feels like whenever I do Lucky Dice, that the like first two or three di uh, routes I do, I always have to get pushed back to the beginning. So it'd be nice if uh, that no longer happens. Uh, display process, opening treasure chest. Okay, that's the same. Oh, and this is actually an interesting one. And I don't know if, any, uh, if everyone knows about this. So optimize the data clearing for people who violate the game rules and are banned. So if you uh, violate game rules and your account is banned, uh, so this is primarily going to be from uh, hate speech, uh, threats of violence, uh, things like this with proof, uh, as well as uh, refunding or any kind of scams, then you will your that account will be banned, and that account the name will still exist but it'll be removed from all leaderboards everywhere it just won't exist and even if you uh move around it won't count it uh as existing so you're just like in this limbo generally uh you're literally banned and can't log in and they just wipe the name uh text description Optimize the event time display of $0 gift pack. Uh, I am not sure about this, the time display. Uh, I don't know about the $0 gift pack. I think this is a SEA specific thing. Let me know in the comments. Uh, event time display of Dark Dragon Crusade gameplay. That is good. Uh, floating worm prompt when unlocking skills in class advancement. Uh, so I believe this is when you uh, complete a pentagon. 
it kind of uh, advance goes away and you got to wait for the whole thing to happen. I think it reduces that. The opening time of Mirror Flower Trial event level is changed to 5 a.m. every day and the challenge end time is changed to 5 a.m. on the 15th day. So I, I really want all events to kind of be like this because it's kind of weird to log in at midnight so you have this weird extra day from midnight to 5 a.m. It would just be great if everything reset at 5 a.m. instead of midnight for events, 5 a.m. for dailies. Uh, that's already, already went over that. Already went over that. Uh, single player, yep. Uh, and here they make it, uh, the glyph, yeah, the same thing. All right, it looks like that is the same, uh, elemental selection card pool. Okay, that doesn't matter. So, about the same, but there were some important differences that I really wish Global, uh, got updates for as well. Uh, remember that we do have that, uh, balloon flower coming up and just as a sneak peek for you guys uh, let me just show you guys uh, do, do that on my discord uh, we have all of Almond's abilities just real quick basic doesn't do anything uh, I really 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 like her passive and I need to read what the rest of the skill does to tell you what I think about the active but the passive looks absolutely bonkers. And I mean, she looks cute, right? Let me know what you guys think about patch 1.34. It seems like kind of a small patch, but important.